Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now in the last one we looked at how Forza Horizon 5 ran with nothing but the two cores and integrated graphics of the Athlon 3000G. We sacrificed a lot in terms of visual quality but we managed to hit at least 30 frames per second on average. In today's video we're going to see how the developer stated minimum system requirements handle the game, namely the Intel Core i5-4460, GTX 970 and 8GB of RAM. By coincidence I had these parts lying around from a previous video so I thought we may as well test them out. Immediately I have one recommendation, enable a frame rate cap and vsync. 30 or 60 fps it's entirely up to you but choose one of these options from the in-game graphics menu if you have similar hardware because otherwise the experience isn't very enjoyable. Now don't get me wrong with 1080p resolution, low settings and a variable unlocked frame rate, there will be instances where we hit over 80 frames per second which is great. But all of a sudden that might drop to say 63 and believe me a dip like that doesn't feel very good especially in a fast paced driving game. The frame rate is too inconsistent when unlocked to be ignored and it makes Forza feel very juddery, at least with this specific setup. Enabling a 60fps cap as well as vsync with the low settings will give us a very nice experience for the most part. Usually I expect 1080p 30fps at low with minimum requirements builds and anything better is a bonus, so to be hitting 60 here, well I'm quite impressed, especially considering the lack of CPU hyperthreading and the 8 gigs of memory. The only change I've made to the low preset is the addition of FXAA. By default both this and MSAA are switched off, and while the latter remains so, I've enabled FXAA to tackle some of those pesky jagged edges. It must be said that while performance is solid a lot of the time, hovering between 57 and 60, driving through towns or generally denser areas may cause a few more drops below this. I'd actually recommend sticking with low to be honest because the medium preset will cause all sorts of problems even with a 60fps frame rate cap in place. Reason being that this hardware can't maintain 60fps for very long, especially during events like this one with a lot of cars that take place in built up areas like the jungles for example. Again you could run uncapped or put up with it but it's just too juddery to enjoy, there are too many little dips here and there. Honestly I didn't expect 60fps to be doable even on low so I'm still quite pleased but there's even better news for those of you who are happy with a 30fps experience. See capping the frame rate to 30 instead will mean a solid 30fps experience. I know it's not for everybody but if you are happy with this frame rate then you can certainly make use of higher quality visuals. The performance with the minimum spec delivered a near flawless 30 frames per second throughout this race when using the same medium settings as we were before. This actually got me wondering just how much higher we could go and still maintain this performance. I selected the high preset, restarted the game and jumped into a cross country race with a handful of other components. Throughout the entirety our frame rate stuck at 30. Horizon 5 looks really nice at this preset and this time around I made no other graphical changes. MSAA was set to 2x by default and FXAA was switched off. I then took a solo drive through a small town which led me into the jungle. Here is where I noticed the occasional frame dip. We dropped from 30 to 29 a couple of times as we got deeper into the foliage but for the most part the minimum suggested specs for Forza Horizon 5 are good for 1080p low 60fps or 1080p high 30fps, though in reality you'll probably want to find a nice sweet spot between the presets, turning a few options on or off as you please, and I should state that I can't speak for the performance across the entirety of the map because it's so big and the performance will change depending on where you are. Thank you very much for watching this minimum spec video then. If you enjoyed it leave a like on it down below, leave a dislike if you didn't, let me know how Forza runs on your hardware, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.